morning, Rams. It's Friday morning, May 6th. Stay tuned for our top story today, construction trapping. <laughs> Good morning, Highland High School. My name is Madden Anderson. Would you please stand and say the pledge with me? Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so very much. You may now be seated. Hey, what's up Highland Rams? See, it's kind of windy, but anyways, it's Ram TV time. I'm Student Tan. And I'm Melissa Shy. Thanks for tuning in for your, your daily announcements <laughs> and sports. <laughs> now let's see what's happening here today at Highland. Um, so let's start this broadcast off by turning the time over to Tanner with the top story. Hi guys, I'm with Officer Daniels and we're going to talk about the traffic and construction sites that we've been driving through. So lately it's been a little crazy and hectic to get out. It takes a little bit more time to get out. Um, what can you tell us about this? Well, with the construction that's up on Olympus and um, Butte, um, it just backs up traffic. There's uh, a 400, 500 cars trying to get up to school, trying to get back to school, trying to get to lunch. Uh, traffic backs up. Uh, that construction has really slowed things down. We're really trying to help alleviate some of that pressure, uh, but we're asking the students to do their part. And what we want them to do is to slow down, and maybe leave a little extra space between them and the other drivers. Don't get so impatient. We get a lot of students that are cutting other uh, drivers off. Uh, they are in inching through the intersections and blocking the intersections, and uh, that's a, just an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, yeah, I understand that, and I understand we should be slowing down a little bit and taking our time. I also heard that we have some motorcycle policemen that are around the area to keep us safe. Uh, what what could you uh, add to that? Well, well, we have. We've been doing some extra patrols in the area since the construction began. Uh, you're not always going to see them because they're not always going to be uh, visible. Sometimes we're not even looking for a motorcycle around or there might just be an officer uh, parked along the side of the road. They're out there doing the extra enforcement. And that is for the student safety and for the rest of the citizens that are driving uh, down the road. We have students that are rowing through the stop sign at Butte and Jerome, or excuse me, Butte and Olympus. Uh, that's a dangerous situation. Even though they don't have traffic coming south on Olympus, there's still those trucks that are doing the construction that they need to be concerned about right there. The intersection here at Olympus and Bench and Fairway is uh, it's a bad intersection because there's a lot of traffic trying to fit through there, and students are again trying to inch through that intersection, and that's a da dangerous thing to do. By state law, you can't block that intersection. Uh, as you're going through. You need to, it needs to be a continuous move through that intersection. Um, and we're also having problems with the students cutting across the open field, which now belongs to the LDS Church uh, west of the school. Uh, there is posted trespassing. You can actually get a trespassing ticket and have to go to court for trespassing if you're driving across that. And unfortunately, I saw several of them last week driving at a high rate of speed, so they were contacted about rec reckless driving because uh, somebody could get hurt when they drive at a high rate of speed across there as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree with uh, what Officer Daniel says, and um, we we just need to slow down, take our time. Take it'll take a fi uh, an extra five ten minutes, if anything. Um, if you really need to hurry after school, uh, please check out if necessary and get out a little earlier than the rest, so that you aren't in in these tra in this traffic line. Make sure to keep the law <laughs> and not and not break it and uh, do anything in your power to be courteous to others. And thanks for tuning in. And go Rams. And go Rams. <laughs> this, 
June 2nd through the 3rd will be a summer camp for next year's juniors and seniors. It's a two-day hands-on college experience for communication, arts, and media. That'll be so much fun. Are you planning to go? No. <laughs> well, obviously not. You're a senior. No, I'm okay. <laughs> um, okay. You'll be working with the professors across campus in workshops like 3D modeling, graphic design, photography, and so much more. So make sure you head down to ISU and participate in that summer camp. Wait, did you say your work will be... Yeah. You're saying this. Oh, okay. Okay. It will cost $15, which includes meals, housing, materials, and a t-shirt, so you can get the full schedule and register at www.icu.edu slash cmp slash camp. That'll be fun. Highland FFA is selling their hanging baskets, tomatoes, peppers, and flowers from our greenhouse. The sale starts today and goes until the 31st. So if you want some special flowers made right here at Highland, make sure you support the FFA in their fundraiser. Now let's see what's happening in our world of sports. Play ball. Oh yeah. Hey guys, it's Azure Daniels and Stevie Clayson. We're here with the sports. Baseball team heads to Idaho Falls today. Um, Let's try that again. Don't breathe. Stevie Wonder. The baseball team faces Idaho Falls High School today at 3.30. Go cheer them on. The track team has their Pocatello City Meet today. Good luck to everyone who's participating. Ooh. High School Rodeo heads to Blackfoot tonight at 7 and Saturday morning at 11. Yeehaw. And the, and the tennis team heads to Idaho Falls today at 2.30. Let's go Rams. Thanks for tuning in. Now back to you guys. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Ram TV. I'm Serena Tan. And I'm Melissa Shy. Oh. <laughs> Have a great day, Highland. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs>